Yo, what's up, people? Matt ID here from the Black, helping you achieve emotional, financial, physical being, and your life coach here. You know, help you get over your emotional shit from your parent. So, anyways, my friends, conflict with parents in adulthood. You know, if you're, I don't like this. I'm not saying the term adult child because it's kind of like an oxymoron. Um, you know, <laughs> you're an adult now. You're still your mom and dad's, you know, offspring, son or daughter. Not a child anymore, but sometimes parents and their adult children, grown up children, have conflict. So what do you do? Especially if you've been having conflict with one adult for a long time. You can try this. I always say this. Try and speak with them. And just the first time you do it, find out what it is that they want. Don't, and when you ask them you know what they want you have to resolve that you're going to shut up not say anything and understand their point you listen to understand most people listen listen to respond you want to listen to understand try this first if you try this i'll get the point too but do this first listen to understand where they're coming from to find out what they want and where they're at okay and then you can agree with them. so uh, well if i were in your shoes i agree with you then go on and explain what it is that you want to desire. Now, if you're a lot of people, well, you where you try to have a conversation, a adult conversation with your parents, which with some parents it's kind of funny. You can't have no conversation with them because they're still, uh, you know, acting like a 16 year old emotionally. That's always fun to deal with. <laughs> what do you do at that point? You're having conflict. Well, here's my suggestion to you. If you're trying to work with them and they're not working with you and they're still being pain in the ass and stuff and you and they're and you know from growing up to this day that like if you try to talk with them they're gonna talk over you interrupt you that is when you're that is when you're gonna have to disconnect for how long I don't know it's gonna depend on you that's when you did step away and say I would say this say I love you I cannot talk with you I want to but it's not gonna work for me I apologize I love you, I will talk to you another time, take care. And you walk away, you move out the house, hang up the phone, and you get away from them for a while. In that time period that you're away, that you don't talk, if you feel like you wanna reach out and say hi, say hi. If you wanna write a letter, write a letter. Take that time to figure out where you are in your relationship with them and figure out what it is that you want. This isn't about them, it's about what you want because here's the thing. If you're constantly having conflict with your parents, their relationship is not healthy and I will say that their relationship is not worth having because a relationship with anyone, friends, wives, husbands, dating, working, business, should not come at the price of your health, your happiness, and your sanity. Sorry. Fuck that shit. If you're in any relationship, dating especially, marriage, and you are constantly stressed, pissed off, hurt, angry, or you know, with your parents, a relationship that's not healthy is literally killing you. Um, I was reading an article from Playboy last summer. Playboy does make good articles, by the way. Don't judge. They said that the study of people in toxic relationships, dating, their brain gets re your brain literally gets gets rewired and you really start to degenerate and die which is why when people are in toxic relationships if you've ever been in one you'll get sick a lot you may have certain pains in your body blah, blah blah but as soon as you break away from that person you'll notice one you're happier emotionally you feel better you have relief but then your body starts to get healthier your body's actually healing why is that because the person you're with is toxic and it's not good for you i'm telling you your brain will then start to rewire itself again to expand and repair itself and your body will follow suit. I'm telling you. So if that's what happens in dating relationships, what do you think is happening to you if you're having conflict with your parents and you're in a toxic relationship with your mom and dad or both? You, my friend, are literally killing yourself and you have been over time and weren't aware of it. Dead fucking serious. So in that time that you're away, Look at it and go, what kind of relationship am I having with my mom or dad right now? What the fuck is going on? And if you realize, and and this one, this one I'm going to suggest, you write down what's going on, 
okay? If you realize you write down that you're feeling, and honestly, a better way to deal with it is when it comes to my, when it comes to relationship with my mom or dad or both, how do I feel about this? Write everything comes to mind. If you notice that you're feeling way more angry, frustrated, hurt, fearful, if you're feeling way more negative emotions than anything positive, your relationship is, is fucked up and toxic and not healthy, and you have a choice. You continue that relationship to work on to make it better, or you say, fuck this, I'm done, I'm cutting this shit off because it's not helping me out. That's where you gotta do it, keep it simple. Now, this is not to say that it can't change in the future, but with parents being as they are, most of them won't change. They are how they are, stuck in their ways, and yeah, not much you can do about that. But this is about you, like I said, it's not about them, it's about you, what you want. So that's my suggestion. Try and talk to them first. If you try and you know, and you know that they're not gonna do it, break away, disconnect, don't talk to them, do what you gotta do, feel better, get healed, work with me, I'll coach you on this, but look at what you're doing, how are you feeling about it, and let's work here to resolve those emotions that hurt, so this way you can be healthier and happier, and then you decide if you really wanna continue. That is what you have to do. A couple of tips, my friend. So, I appreciate you watching this video. Like this video, comment, let me know your thoughts are. Please subscribe, share, if you got some value from this, if you feel like someone else can can can, can uh, get value from this, you can work with me. Like I said, I'm giving away free coaching, free coaching sessions in the description below. Click the link below, my friend, and let's work together. Ow! I love you. I look forward to speaking with you and working with you soon. Get in the black. Peace.